All right, everybody, welcome to the video here for lesson number eight homework assignment. So in the lesson for uh, lesson eight, we learned how to find the focus and directrix of a parabola. Use that to come up with equations of a parabola. Uh, so first question. The first question shows us a directrix and a focus. So one of the things that we have to remember, right, is the vertex is going to be exactly between these two equal distance from the two. So the uh, the vertex is going to be somewhere here. And we have to then understand whether or not this is going to be a concave up or concave down parabola. Because the focus is always kind of like inside, it's almost like the parabola hugs the focus. This is going to be a concave down parabola. It should look something like that. Number two says to derive the equation of a parabola whose focus is 0, 4, and whose directrix is the x-axis. For this, I always like to draw a little picture. So the x-axis is y equals 0. The focus is 0, 4, meaning the vertex is going to be somewhere in between those two. And we want to be equal distance, so the vertex is 0, 2. <clears throat> now, when we put this into an equation, we have to also know what the p-value is. The p-value is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So the p-value here is 2. It's positive because we would go up to get from the vertex to the focus. So in a basic form of the equation of a parabola, we have y equals 1 over 4p times x minus h squared plus k, where p is the p-value we just found, h is the x-value of the vertex, and k is the y-value of the vertex. So we can say 1 over 8, 4 times 2 is 8, x minus 0 squared plus 2. And we can clean that up a little bit because x minus 0 is just x. There's your equation. Now, if the equation of the parabola is given to you, we have to put it into this form so that we can determine what the vertex is, the p-value is, and that should help me figure out where the focus or the directrix are. So it says, here's your equation. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get it into this format that we're used to seeing here for these parabolas, this vertex form of the parabola. So I'm going to add 24 on both sides. And then I'm going to divide everything by 8, so I make it y equals. That's going to give me the equation y equals, I'll put the 1 8th in front, 1 8 x plus 2 squared, So this is really 1 divided by 8 times x minus x plus 2 squared. So because of that, we can see that the p-value is 2. Because remember, this 8 on the bottom here is really representing 4p. Right? So what multiplies by 4 to make 8? x2. And the vertex is the parenthesis of negative 2, 3. So if we're at the vertex of negative 2, 3, we want to find the focus. Since the p-value is positive, we're going to go up 2. So if I go up 2 from this point of the focus, I get negative 2, 5. All right? If that's hard to visualize, sketch it. All right, moving right along. Number four gives us a diagram of a parabola with the focus and directrix given to us. So we can see here is here's the focus, here's the vertex, and here's the directrix. See how they're all one box away, right? So the vertex, which we want to make this equation, is a coordinate of 1, 2. The p-value is 1. And it's up to go from vertex to focus. <clears throat> so we can say y equals 1 over 4. 4 times 1 is 4. x 
minus 1 squared plus 2. There's your equation. Number 5 is the only one in the homework that has a concave down parabola. So it says find an equation of a set of points equally distant from a point and a line. As soon as you see it's a point and a line, you're thinking it is a parabola. So I'll have the line y equals 5, and I have point 0.43, which would be below that line. We then have to think of what point would be in between that to make the vertex of this parabola. So we'd be at the coordinate of 4, 4. So we have a vertex of 4, 4. And we have a p-value, right? Remember, it's the distance from the vertex to the focus. We're going down 1, so that would be negative 1. So this is going to become the equation y equals negative 1 4, right? Because the p-value is negative, making that whole first fraction negative x minus 4 squared plus 4. That's it. That's the video for the homework. Hopefully that helped, and I will see you soon.